two planes, one sky, one wrong move, and 500 lives could vanish in seconds. What really stops mid-air collisions? And why pilots sometimes ignore air traffic control to survive? Three days ago, a Southwest airline had to dip 475 feet to avoid another aircraft. Mid-air collisions, though extremely rare, are serious aviation risks typically caused by a breakdown in situational awareness or communication between pilots and air traffic control, ATC. Here's how they almost happen. Airspace congestion in busy skies near major airports or over certain regions. Many aircraft may be flying at similar altitudes or along converging routes. Pilot or ATC error, miscommunications, incorrect altitude assignments, or failure to follow instructions can bring planes dangerously close. Navigation or equipment malfunction. Faulty autopilot, altimeters, or transponders can misreport a plane's position or altitude. Weather diversions. Pilots rerouting due to storms or turbulence may stray into another aircraft's path. Failure to see and avoid. While pilots are trained to visually scan for other aircraft, high speeds and blind spots make this unreliable at close range. Uncontrolled airspace or military zones, flying in areas with limited radar or coordination increases risk. What is CAS, Traffic Collision Avoidance System? CAS is an onboard safety system designed to prevent mid-air collisions by monitoring nearby aircraft and advising pilots on evasive actions. How TCS works? Transponder communication. CAS uses signals from aircraft transponders to detect and track nearby planes. Proximity alerts. TA, traffic advisory warns pilots of nearby traffic. RA, resolution advisory tells pilots how to change altitude to avoid collision. Automatic deconfliction. If two planes receive RA alerts, CAS coordinates so one climbs while the other descends, ensuring separation. Independent of ATC. CAS operates independently from air traffic control, but supplements ATC instructions. Example of a near miss. In 2001, two planes over Japan received conflicting instructions. ATC told one to descend, while CAS told the other to descend too. One pilot followed CAS, the other followed ATC, resulting in a deadly collision. Since then, pilots are trained to always follow CAS over ATC in such conflicts. Key point. CAS saves lives and adds a critical last line of defense in preventing mid-air collisions, even when human or radar systems fail.